All right, guys, thanks for tuning in again. I'm sure you know what this is all about. Well, number one, you know the name, the title of the video anyway. So um, this here is another um, pill bottle that I got from a family member. And I cut off the bottom. And the reason being is because um, she got me the Uber Chic um, Jumbo Stamper. And this is basically what it looks like. Um, and we'll get into the firmness and everything later on. I just wanted to uh, basically clean it. And remove anything that's on it basically so this should be nice and clean here is the pill bottle this I don't need don't need the cap I wanted it for was for this and very gently Put it in here. And there is the house for, sorry, I'm still getting over my cold. So here is the new holder and the new house for the Clear Jelly Stamper. I, um, I'm just going to use this so you guys can see through it. So, you can perfectly see through it. I hope you can, because this is hard to do. I might have to cut this down a little bit more, because it's a little long. Um, for video purposes, I don't know. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Um, as you can see, hopefully... It's not making it any, hopefully, I'm trying to do this. Let's see if I do it like this. So as you can see, it's not making it any darker or clearer. Um, I figured this was the perfect holder for the time being till someone comes up with the awesome girly bits one. That being said, there's the house for it. This is domed, as you can see. I do not, and I repeat, boldface underscore all caps. I repeat, do not, even though you can, put this back on here to protect it. You're going to notice there's a ton of ridges here. You're going to notice there's a ton of lettering here gets what's going to happen within time that is all going to get indented into your stamper so figure out um, a home for it um, so don't don't use the cap don't use the bottle cap for it this is just to hold it and stuff now what you all want to know how firm is it? How firm is it? How firm is it? It is very, very firm. Um, do you see how hard that is? There is no... Okay, maybe a little bit. This is very firm. I can't use this. Not on my long nails. This would be very painful on long nails. Okay. Here is the original one. As you know, from day one, I put that on it to protect it. This is definitely firmer. This gives a little bit firm, absolute firm. 
Um, it all boils down to your preference. If you don't have to worry about long nails, then go for it. You're good to go. The video that I saw um, when this was advertised was that of a softer stamper head. Comparing it to the Born Pretty Store. Here it is. Born Pretty Store. Firm. Look at how much more give that has. Um, this is not ideal if you have long nails. Do not recommend it for long nails. I mean, this has way more give. Look at that. This. It. And don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on Uber Chic. I am not. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. If you have short nails and you're fine with these firm stampers, get it. Um, if you prefer softer, this is not what I would recommend. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it and you know I know there are uber chic fangirls ladies I'm not hating I'm not trying to be rude I, lo I love uber chic I have their products but for those ladies that are looking for the soft XL for your long nails um, I don't recommend this. So let's do some swatching on my lint roller because that's all that I have right now. Let's try this huge image here. And I'm being very generous with the nail polish, which is, <coughs> I'm so sorry guys which is wet and wild black there it is it picks up very nicely very very nicely very detailed so there's the swatch. It picks up beautifully. Hating on this stamper, I'm not hating on this company. If you're looking for a softer, like the one, like the video where, where you go into Uber Chic website and you look at the video, um, my experience was that it was not that soft. Try it again. And I gently rolled. And it picks up the whole image with great detail. Now let's see if I can stamp just out of curiosity. It probably dried up, but can you see that? I'm just going to do it on the paper. Just press down on the paper. See, that's not too bad, considering how much time I waited. So I'm going to try it on my nails. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm going to try it on my nails. Um, it's not going to be perfect because I am wearing a dark color. This is just first impressions for demonstrational purposes. Um, yes, this is just up to you guys. This is your preference. If you're fine with stamper like this, go for it.
There is the pickup. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, you guys, you're not going to be able to see it. That's what it looks like. Leftover. Okay, guys. So once it's on the on the holder, um, it doesn't. <sighs> yeah, no, I I can't, guys. If you've got long natural nails, you have to put some pressure onto this and it just, it's just not, not what I would recommend if you have got natural nails. Yeah, you've got to put a lot of pressure. So, um, uh, if I don't know, guys, I'm I'm gonna have to do a full mani. But so far, first impressions is I was definitely expecting something softer, and I know that on the website it says soft firm but the video it looked much softer so did you guys get it let me know what you think and um, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and again I'm not hating on the company. I'm not saying don't buy it. I am just saying if you've got long natural nails um, and you want full coverage, if you have a C curve and you want full coverage, uh, you're gonna need something softer. That's, that's the whole reality. You're just gonna need something softer. So get it. If you don't have crazy long nails like mine, um, yeah, see, even with that nail, it, it still doesn't cover my sides. It's, it's kind of like I'm still using the smaller one. Um, it's, it is, it's kind of like I'm still using the smaller one because I'm still have to rock left and right when I wanted to just be able to go down with one swoop and get everything and it's just not doing the sides. So um, just keep that in mind guys. Um, it's probably going to work for you. Uh, this is not going to work for me, not for my long curvy nails um i give it a try and uh let me know what you think thanks for watching and i would really appreciate a thumbs up bye